weather. Uh, in this video I'm just gonna put together the luck table I have from IKEA. I'll probably have to take it apart when I get the printed parts to make the enclosure but I wanted to try out the new setup. I uh, got a extra tripod for the di two different lights so now I have one light here and one light over there. Uh, then I got this lamp stand from IKEA for the mic and I have just the same type for the camera and I made a makeshift uh, connector here to bind this together. This is something I will probably design in Fusion and, and print also for the webcam and using a normal tripod a quick release that I uh, strap down to the to the arm and then I can rotate the camera on the arm and I can move the camera around so I can take it down and put down to the table very easily and move it move it back so <coughs> I've also turned the table a bit because on this side here is a open door to the balcony and the paper background didn't quite cover that and and since I turned the camera a little bit I have more of the table showing up here and I don't think I will need the background after I made the lights in either place so it is more light coming in to my face and to the table and the white strip here in the window isn't so bad anymore it was like glowing when I just had one lamp in one side also I spaced out the lights and not using the, the umbrella this one here I had so I can tuck this away somewhere and yeah but I got some more tools from my garage. Uh, those hex keys, they have a, a ball end and they're very long. Uh, this is something I had laying around in the garage. Uh, but yeah, but I wanted to just take a moment and put together this table. It's probably doesn't take very long but I want to try out doing something on a video stream and see how it goes I might create a time lapse out of it if I if it takes too long but yeah I wanted to try that so I'm gonna move the mic away a little bit and just start building I was thinking about having the lock table somewhere here on the table and the printer underneath. Uh, I don't know if I have to make a extra long feet for this for the printer height. I'm not sure about the height exactly, but uh, if I have it here, I can. The printer can't be visible from the camera angle, so I don't have to remove the table all the time. But I think this could work out, and I'm gonna find out <coughs> how to place the filament case. I have to create a, some kind of case for the filaments and feed them through. So that will be done when I have the printer and can see where to create a hole for the filament and feed it through the table. I've seen some videos of it but I'm not exactly sure 
the best way to do it until I get the printer. Yeah, so I think for today this is gonna be it. So have a nice day and see you in the next video.